Anytime you put organic material, even on a desert, you can regenerate life in soil. Even on desert, on sandy, old, crappy, I mean, mm -hmm. desert sand. Desertif desertification is a major problem on and, the planet right now. And isn't it's it? reversible. Um, you know, it's, yes, it's, it's happening and, and it's you know, spreading at a, a rate that's unprecedented. Um, but it is, it is reversible with, with massive and very intended action. Um, and a lot of that just comes down to separating our waste, you know, and making the most out of our organic waste and, and creating biomass, and starting with grasses and that turn into a whole lot of other things, you know, just so. But um, your question is what to do with the... Well, so we've got a plot of land there that is basically <clears throat> a toxic rice paddy field mm -hmm. and it's just clay. Mm -hmm. I've stopped using the term soil because it's mm -hmm. not soil. Yeah. There's no microbes in it. It's been drowned for 30 odd years and yeah. chemically treated. Yeah. Uh, you're confident that we can restore that and do something really good with it. So as that as an example, for other people who might be interested about how you go about restoring land, mm -hmm. what are the general principles or is it different to each piece of land? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's uh, dependent on what your intended outcomes are. So if you're talking to a rice farmer and you can see if you look outside, you know, five meters away from us out the backside of this building, it's just all rice. And uh, the local economy and all these farmers have been programmed into thinking that, you know, rice is the ticket. This is what they're going to do. Um, moreover, there's a challenge that uh, local farmers are also perceiving rice to be um, associated with a goddess uh, who... Um, is is guarding those fields and you know is uh, protecting and honoring the work of the, the forefathers who cleared the land. I mean, because it, it was a forest before. Um, so it's quite sensitive to to come in and just mess with that beautiful equation that they've evolved over time. In fact, it was quite sustainable and biodiverse until around 50 years ago when the Green Revolution started.